Hello, today I'll be showing you how I made this triangle clip. This thing works like a charm. Um, it's very durable, unlike the triangle clips you might buy at a music store uh, that typically use like a fishing wire type thing. I found snap very easily, whereas zip ties are much stronger. Although, if you use the bigger zip ties, sometimes they'll muffle the triangle or they'll kind of restrict its movement or whatever. But, if you use these zip ties, which is these right here, the four inch cable ties, I found these at Home Depot, then it really doesn't restrict the movement, really doesn't, you don't lose your overtones, uh, you're set. Okay, so all you need, again, is these zip ties right here, um, which are just four inch cable ties, basically find the smallest ones you can. And then you'll need one of these clips. Um, if you go to Home Depot or something, there's gonna be a large size, a medium size, and a small size, you want the medium one. Um, I find is the easiest to get on a music stand and isn't too cumbersome. So here's how you do it. First of all, uh, the, the clip right here under the rubber, you can't see it, but on the metal, there's a little hole. So you wanna use your kind of fingers to find out where that hole is. And then you can use a thumbtack or a knife or something. And you just wanna poke through that hole. Okay, you'll see I poked through it. Okay, and you'll kind of wiggle it, try to make the hole a little bit bigger. I used a pair of scissors to kind of get in there. Okay. Once you got your hole, you're going to take your first zip tie. You'll need two. And you will put it in there like such. Okay. And you want it faced like this as if you were going to put it through like this. But you won't because you'll use the second one. So you'll grab your second one, and it's really important when you put this one on, you don't go very far at all. You just get it to catch right here, and then you stop, okay? So, hear that? Okay, you, you hear a little click, you stop, okay? So, this is what it should look like by this point. Now, you're gonna take this one, you're gonna feed it through the first one. And this one, you will go basically as tight as you can go. Okay, so if you tighten it, to look more and more like uh, like a letter D, yeah. Okay, and you'll wanna get it basically about that tight. So now you've got a nice loop going on there, which if you grab your triangle, fits in like that. And then all you have left to do, take your scissors, cut off the excess, that just went on the floor, oh well. And boom, you got yourself a sturdy triangle clip that also will not mess with the overtones. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.